thank you so much for making time to do this interview with me, especially because as we speak, it's crunch time for one of the biggest award events uh, that Canada can have. Plus the fact that we're doing this on virtual because usually I'd be on the red carpet talking mm. to you and we're not doing it this year. First, I got to ask you personally, how are you holding up throughout COVID-19 and you know, how your crew and everybody else, how are they doing as we're coming closer and closer to, I, like I said, Canadian entertainment's biggest night. Yeah. Um, you know, I think every day is a, uh, you know, a different day. It's, it's a, it's a wild ride, but, um, I do think that having this, um, you know, such kind of a joyous thing to focus on, you know, celebrating our, our content creators is really nice and uh, it's a great distraction from um, the craziness of the world. You know, we have been working remotely for over a year now, like everyone else, but it's very, it's very, very uh, unique to produce an event like this uh, completely remotely. You know, I mean, so much of production and why I love, you know, the awards is because you're all coming together to try and accomplish something and there's like a cadence to it. You know, there's a run up, there's so much stress, but you just get through it as a team and put out fires and, and then, you know, you're in the moment and then, you know, you deal with all the messes that you left behind. But um, so it's really kind of weird and lonely to be doing this uh, without any of my team members in person. Let's talk about last year. <clears throat> Because so many things were going on. I remember when I was dealing with the Juno Awards, I was literally on the plane, found out the Junos weren't going to happen, got off the plane to Saskatoon, jumped literally on another plane to head back to Toronto. It was crazy. Then, of course, I'm wondering the Canadian Screen Awards, the big, you know, the biggie. What's going to happen with that? What was going on with you guys when literally Canada and the rest of the world shut down through entertainment and other type of venues knowing that COVID-19 was happening for real and it was going to affect all of us in so many different ways. I mean I remember uh, talking to a friend of mine who sort of has like ins with like public health and like government things and I was like so what do you think should we cancel it that was like the question we were all like should we cancel it shouldn't we cancel it you know south by southwest had canceled and people were up in arms you know culture needs to live uh and and I was like should we postpone it and they were like I this is it's going to be years and I was like what <laughs> I was like come on really and they were like really and I realized then that uh, things were going to be different, but, you know, we had two weeks. Uh, we were two weeks after the Junos. Generally, you know, we're always kind of within two weeks of each other. Um, and so we, we did cancel, you know, and we were two weeks out um, and we had a lot of financial repercussions for that, but, you know, we didn't have people, you know, who had traveled to the location and, you know, didn't have whole crews travel to that location. So um, it was much easier to deal with, but I will not lie. We did actually cry in our conference room. <laughs> we didn't realize what the whole, you know, what the global pandemic meant. It wasn't a pan global pandemic at that point, I don't think. Um, and uh, we were just kind of upset. I was upset that, you know, our staff members who it was their first year uh, weren't gonna be able to experience what they had been working towards. Because for uh -huh. me, Canadian Screen Awards, it's part of my year. I, you know, I am used to speaking with the nominees, heading to the red carpet, going to the press room, waiting for the winners to come out, watching all the smiles and, you know, yeah. watching and being part of this great Canadian celebration. Not having it was like you, you almost, you feel lost. Yes. Like what, what? going on this is not supposed to be happening so you guys have had a year to go through this to watch what's going on so what can we expect now for this year's canadian screen awards how are we going to see it online how are we going to see it televised how is this all working yeah well i, I know big big question i know you know 
here's like a bit of a philosophical answer to that question. Um, I think I've watched every single, obviously every online award show that has transpired. And, you know, some of them were, were interesting. Some of them, were, you know, did not succeed in, in a lot of ways. But um, I think that like where we realize that where award shows go wrong is when they're just trying to recreate what we did in person online. And you can't, there's a palpable sense of excitement when everyone is in a room, there's an energy, there's an energy to a red carpet, there's an energy to um, an award show, a press room. So we mourn that like you and I, m many people in our industry. But what we decided was, okay, so what we really need to do is we need to put the content first. So this, you know, it's not gonna be an award show where, you know, you're, you have, uh, you're seeing Nicole Kidman in her living room. <laughs> um, because quite frankly, we kind of didn't feel like that, that worked <laughs> that well, you know? Um, I think that we have, the Canadian Screen Awards have always had an element of discovery in them. Um, because there's so much content that we produce here that does not get recognized um, year round. And I think, you know, there's a huge shift happening in the last few years with Kim's Convenience and Schitt's Creek, um, for instance, but we are really, uh, the shows are going to be um, really about the content. So we're using the shows that were submitted to us, we're using the best of what they submitted to show them off. And um, I think it's going to be great, you know. Uh, it is all going to be online, so academy.ca. Um, we said after last year, in over the summer, we were, you know, debating, building our budgets, what are we going to do? And we said, you know what, I don't think it's going to be over by next spring. And that was a bit of a controversial thing. Like a lot of people were saying, no, 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 don't worry. You know, the because remember the summer we opened up a lot and we like were getting back to normal a little bit. Um, and we kind of made that call not to and uh, not to go down that road. So um, CBC, you know, stepped away for a year and I'm glad we did that because it allowed us to focus fully on the online shows. So um, yeah, so academy.ca and uh, obviously any of your social media platforms, search Canadian Screen Awards and you'll find us there. Um, but you know, be taking place over a series of nights, May 17th to May 20th. And our big main event, which is normally sort of what you would have seen on television, is happening on May 20th at 8 p.m. Eastern. So let's break it down for folks who are just used to watching the televised. Yes. As you said, it's broken down into different nights. How yeah. is it gonna work? Um, so what we've done is we've taken, you know, not a lot of people know this when they just watch the television awards show, but we have a, about 140 other categories that we award in different um, genres. So we have, uh, news and documentary, we have children's programming, we have um, lifestyle and reality, you know, which are your home renovation shows. Um, and so what we've done is we've sort of broken those um, down into smaller, more manageable uh, pieces. And we're presenting those uh, basically two a night for the most part, uh, from Monday, May 17th to Thursday, May 20th. And uh, it starts at seven o'clock uh, with our news and documentary awards. Um, and then uh, we have later on that day, we have um, the lifestyle and reality awards. And then Tuesday, May 18th at seven o'clock, we have our children's programming. Eight o'clock, we have our digital and immersive. So that's where we're starting to get a little bit into like VR and gaming and um, also uh, content that's made specifically for the internet. Um, and then Wednesday, we have our craft awards, which are uh, basically um, all the people that go into making those television shows that you see behind the screens. Um, all of those people uh, get awarded there. And then Thursday, as I said, eight o'clock is our big main event. Um, but at seven o'clock, which is just before, um, we do have our cinematic arts gala and that's our film gala. So um, that's an interesting one for any film buffs or, um, you know, people who are art house aficionados, those, uh, those sorts of things. Um, that's a great show as well. I cannot wait to see this. Now, 
you know, people are going to be asking because they're so used to, as you mentioned, the other award shows where somebody says, and the winner is, opens it up, and then they zoom into the person's home where yeah. they're all dressed up and going, oh, thank you so much, thank you so much. Right. But the Thursday event, or maybe even some of the other ones, yeah. how is that going to work? How do we, or are you guys still trying to figure that out? Are we actually going to have somebody say, and the winner is, here's the winner, and do they go to that actual person? You will have to tune in to find out. Ah. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to say to you. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm not going to give away any details there, but uh, yeah, as I said, just trying to put the put the work first, you know, and um, and really honor honor it in the best way we possibly can uh, until we can get back into a room and have a big party again. You know, I think of all the, um, I mean, the Canadian Screen Awards is always a great event to watch. Um, I think if any year that people need to watch this, I truly believe it's this year. One of the biggest reasons why is because we're literally watching history. Next year, I don't think it's going to look like this or the years after, but this time, this is something very special because you guys are bringing a celebration through one of the toughest times that we've ever we can remember yeah yeah thank you i hope it's celebratory <laughs> yeah I, it's so strange you know you produce this whole thing and then you're just like you're sitting there and you're like okay here it goes and you're just like and then I guess it went well, you know? I guess so. <laughs> it so it awesome. always goes well. Like I said, the thing I'm going to miss is hanging out with my reporter friends and having that great food that you guys always have in the uh, back area for us. Uh, just very quickly, too, off the top of your head, you kind of mentioned some names. What shows or, you know, things that we're going to see, big nominees that are going to be part of this? You mentioned uh, a little bit like Schitt's Creek mm -hmm. and Kim's Convenience. Who else can we be looking at? I mean, I think one of the shows that uh, sort of broke into the scene this year was uh, Transplant, the uh, drama from uh, CTV. And, um, you know, I we haven't had sort of one of those um, procedural style shows really break through in Canada uh, in on the drama side for a really long time. So um, that was very exciting um, to see. And um, yeah, I mean, we have a lot of shows that are going away this year, which is very sad, um, but also, you know, makes room for, for new shows. So it gets, uh, gets everyone on their toes looking for new talent. So, um, so we're excited about that. And, you know, I think the other thing is uh, this year, our film awards are really, uh, you know, they're really, they're, very interesting and they're all very different and they're all um, engage you and sort of keep you along for the ride throughout the film. And uh, I'm really excited to honor them because it's been frustrating for so many filmmakers not to be able to have their films premiere on a big screen. And, uh, you know, it also has messed up like all of our distribution um, channels, you know, not that they were working perfectly before, but, um, in some ways, people can see those films more easily now because uh, you know distributors are pushing them onto um, platforms. But uh, I'm excited for all of those films. I think everyone should seek them out. We have some fantastic um, films that are that are really unique and very um, grounded in the Canadian experience. So, same here. If there's one thing that I have enjoyed, especially the last twenty years is the way Canadian filmmakers have just exploded with culture, with stories, um, and even with the actors and actresses and the folks who are involved in front of the screens, Canadian films are amazing. I feel like we've become the leaders and people are following in the type of style of stories and the way we present ourselves is great. So seeing this as part of the Canadian Screen Awards, like I said, this is gonna be so, much fun before we wrap this up uh any advice that you can give us uh folks who are going to be watching because like i said usually we're used to being in the uh crowd or backstage should we get some champagne should we have some caviar could we well, even put on a little bow tie with our pajamas or something you sure can so you can you can be as 
you know, as you would like to be, but still be celebratory. So have some champagne and order in some barbecue, uh, you know, like get all the snacks you want. Everyone always talks about sitting in the audience and being hungry at our shows. There's no excuse <laughs> you can't be hungry this year. Um, and uh, yeah, so we also have a, you know, we're, we're doing some fun things. There's a cocktail recipes that you can uh, look up on our social media um, if you want to. And, and, you know, a lot of people are having Zoom parties. So they're, or they're having watch parties for the awards. So I know that a lot of, for instance, crews are getting together and they're all watching it um, together and so that they can celebrate together. So, uh, you know, if you can do that and you have a friend, one of those, one of those reporter friends that you want to, um, you know, have join, you should do that. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Okay. So one more time, when does it begin? What days? Uh, and also where do we log in to watch the excitement and the fun? Okay. So first of all, you can just go to academy.ca. It's very easy to remember. We will be there uh, starting Monday. So in a week, um, starting Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern and then going Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday night um, at seven is our Cinematic Arts Gala. And then um, that 8 p.m. is our main event. So um, please come enjoy, watch. We'll, we'll be on YouTube, we'll be on Twitter but you can start at academy.ca to find out you know, where, what platform you wanna to go to to watch it. Fantastic, Beth, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, thank you for, thank you, you and your crew and everybody else involved for keeping this great event alive. And I am so crossing fingers. Maybe I might have to wear a mask, but next year I am so hoping I will be on the red carpet. But like I said, if I got to wear a mask, I don't care. I just want to be there. I want to see the stars. I want to be part of the excitement. And I want to be able to eat that great food that you guys have <laughs> back in the uh, press area. Thank you again for the interview. Okay. Thanks so much, Rudy.